The invasion, which many thought would be over in a flash, has now reached its 100th day. As we watch the upper hand seemingly shift from Russia to Ukraine and then back again, what's going on beneath the surface? You know, if you've ever fought in a city, you realize what an incredibly daunting prospect that was. And, you know, as you mentioned, I fought in the Fallujah battle and we were about 10,000 Marines and we had to take that city from members of Al-Qaeda in Iraq and uh, that was a city of around pre-war half a million people, but not nearly as developed as Kyiv, uh, not nearly as complex in terms of its topography. You know, that took us more than a month of very intense house-to-house -house fighting to do that. What light can Iraq and Afghanistan shed on Ukraine? And what does Ukraine reveal about how the next war will be fought? <laughs>